15 creatures' bizarre eating habits. From a bone-eating bird to a creature that, believe it or not, has a tendency to eat its own mating partner, here's some unbelievable eating habits that you'll only find out in the wild. Number 15. Sicilians. Limbless and blind, these amphibians mostly live hidden beneath Earth's surface, which is a good thing. Because just look at one and you'll know, the ick factor is high. Small species look like worms, but the bigger ones, which can be up to 5 feet long, are more like snakes. As adults, they eat earthworms and insects, but as newborns, they eat their mother's skin. That's right, mom grows a fatty outer layer that's high in nutrients for her kids. The young peel the skin off with their teeth, allowing them to grow exponentially in a short amount of time. Something only a mother would do for her young. Number 14. Tear Drinking Moth Scientists discovered in 2006 for the first time ever a species of moth that would drink the tears of sleeping birds. The site was seen in Madagascar, where experts witnessed the moth using its scary-looking proboscis to literally steal the tears of sleeping magpie robins. That proboscis is shaped like a harpoon and comes equipped with fearsome hooks and barbs, yet somehow they're able to drink the bird's tears without disturbing the sleeping creature. Oh, the wonders of nature. Number 13. Leafcutter Ants For leafcutter ants, farming is life. They cut leaves from trees with their mandibles and make a giant compost pile. Incredibly, they can move up to 20 times their body weight. Then the worker ants come in and do some dirty work. They add their body fluids, including feces and saliva, to the pile. These natural materials act as fertilizer so that the leaves grow fungus. The colony uses this fungus to feed ant larvae, while the adults use the sap that the leaves produce for sustenance. So if you ever see a leaf seemingly moving around on its own, you're probably just watching a leafcutter ant hard at work. Number 12. Japanese Macaques These adorable monkeys will eat a large variety of plants, insects, fruits, and if nothing better is available, underground roots or even soil. A group of scientists went to Koshima, a Japanese island in the 1950s, to study and live with a tribe of macaques. They observed the creatures eating sweet potatoes. At first, they would simply brush them off with their hands and scarf them down. One day, a young female macaque named Emo dipped her potato into a nearby river to wash it off instead. The other monkeys saw and soon every macaque on the island began washing their potatoes before eating them. They also figured out that it was best to dip them in ocean water as it made their treats more salty and tasty. Clever monkeys. Number 11. Bearded Vulture. No one dines quite like a bearded vulture. For starters, they eat bones, specifically bone marrow, making them the only known creature with such a diet in the animal kingdom. In order to extract this marrow, they take carcasses hundreds of feet into the air and drop them to the rocky ground below. This cracks the bones and exposes the nutritious and delicious marrow within. The birds are widely distributed throughout much of Europe, Africa, and Asia, where they're mostly found high up in the mountains. They've even been seen as high as 24,000 feet on Mount Everest. Number 10. Assassin Bugs These crazy creatures use their formidable proboscis, also known as a rostrum, to attain their scrumptious meals. They inject a lethal saliva through the proboscis into the insides of prey that liquefies its innards, which the assassin bug then sucks out. Yummy. Well, now you see where this creature got its name. That saliva is incredibly effective at taking out prey, even creatures that are significantly larger than the bug itself. Number 9. Called lamprey eels, but really jawless fish, these scary creatures can be found in the ocean or landlocked lakes. They feed in an extremely terrifying way. They bore into the flesh of other, less scary, more normal looking fish in order to suck their blood. Despite their unsavory appearance, humans have been eating lampreys for years. Ancient Romans loved the fish and the upper classes throughout Europe couldn't get enough of its meaty taste in the Middle Ages. Queen Elizabeth II had her coronation pie made out of lampreys in 1953 and it's still popular in parts of Europe to this day. Number 8. Great Skewa The joke that's so easy to go with here is that these birds are like that roommate who's always stealing everyone else's food, which is kind of true. However, those sneaky roommates usually do the dirty deed when the owner of the soon-to-be stolen munchies isn't around. Great skewa, on the other hand, are partial kleptoparasites, which means they chase off gulls and other seabirds to steal their catches. Not only that, but they're also known to kill and eat other adult birds, some as large as the mighty gray heron. Okay, so these birds go way further than most of those annoying roommates. Number 7. Red Squirrel Just like other squirrels, these adorable little critters gather nuts and grains. They store this haul in preparation for winter, but that's not why they're included on this list. They also have a really cool survival strategy that keeps them alive in the darkest of times. They bite into the sides of maple trees and wait for the maple syrup within to drip out. They let this dry on the tree bark and return to lick a tasty sweet treat that doubles as what could be a much needed energy boost and food source when nothing else is readily available. Number 6. Vampire Ground Finch these little Galapagos Island birds have an incredibly savage diet. They feed by drinking the blood of Nazca birds and blue-footed boobies by pecking out their skin until blood is drawn. Now that would probably bother most humans and almost any other creature, but the other birds don't seem to mind too much when this happens. 
People theorize that it's a behavior that grew out of the fact that the finch would clean parasites from the plumage of the birds in much the same way. Number 5. Tongue-eating louse. What this parasite does will blow your freaking mind. They enter fish through their gills and attach onto the fish's tongue, with a female directly on the tongue and a male on the gill arches behind the female. Then they go to work. They sever the blood vessels in the tongue, causing it to eventually fall off completely. Then they attach to the stub, literally becoming the fish's new tongue. The fish shows no further ill effects from this crazy parasitical procedure and can use the tongue eating louse just like a normal tongue. Here's an example of a fish with a louse instead of a tongue. Pretty crazy, right? Number four, a nursery web spider. Male nursery web spiders encounter a pretty serious problem in bed that really no one ever wants to deal with. The female spider will often try to eat it right after they're done mating, which is like the worst time to be bothered, much less potentially eaten alive. To appease the tendencies of their mates, guys will often present their potential partners with gifts, such as flies, before mating, hoping that this will satisfy her nearly insatiable hunger. Number three, honeybee. Unless there's a swarm of them attacking you and threatening your very livelihood, who doesn't love the magical honeybee? They provide us with the delicious, nutritious treat known as honey, making them the only insect to produce food available for us humans to eat. That's so darn nice of them. Worker bees make the honey by evaporating water from nectar that's collected by field honeybees. That process that worker bees go through involves eating and regurgitating the nectar over and over until voila, it becomes honey. What a process. Number two, zombie worms. It wasn't until 2002 that we knew of the existence of these strange, tiny deep sea creatures. Researchers from the Monterey Bay Aquarium, using a submarine, found them living on the bones of a gray whale carcass. They are microscopic and rely on lipids that are found enclosed in the bones and whales. So they bore into the bones of whale carcasses to reach the lipids, which they use as sustenance. Man, animals out there sure do have some weird eating habits. Then again, so do us humans. We eat bugs, poop, and even each other when we really have to. Thanks as always for watching and stay full of knowledge, my friends. Number one, dung beetles. You may have already known that dung beetles feed partly or even wholly on dung, but did you know that depending on the type of dung beetle, they use the excrement in different ways. Rollers roll it into round balls that they use as food or sometimes breeding chambers. Nice. Tunnelers, on the other hand, bury the dung immediately. Then there's dwellers, who simply live in dung. Many of us know that one person who always smells bad or is just kind of a dirty person. For dung beetles, that's literally everyone.